my dear fourth grade children how are you are you fine i hope that you are very fine and you stay at home yes or not okay ma'am very fine now we are studying the social subject that is now we study the geography part second lesson isn't it what's the title of this lesson can you remember it okay very fine that is major geographical forms isn't it okay first of all we study the geography what's the title of the first lesson yeah that is types and elements of maps types and elements of maps okay now we study that major geographical forms isn't it okay what is geography geography means that is a geography study is the relationship between human society and on the earth isn't it okay ma okay first of all we study the or earth already we study some facts about earth isn't it what's that yes the planet earth is home to a variety of living beings isn't it is not earth is the only planet to support life that reason you know very well yeah this is because of the presence of water and air is yes, ma yeah then this earth is also called unique planet because it supports life and also called blue planet okay because 3/4 of the earth is covered with the water remaining 1/4 1/4 is the land part so this is what makes earth look blue from outer space hence it is also referred to as the blue planet this is already you studied it you learned it you know very well isn't it don't forget okay ma okay fine you are very good children so you never forget it okay ma okay then we study that major geographical forms what are the major geographical forms we study that that is first of all we study the surface of the earth huge land masses on the surface of the earth are called continents so we study some major geographical forms i recall this lesson again okay so first what's that that is a continents what is a continents huge land masses on the surface of the earth are called continents the surface of the earth are called continents they are continuous expanses of land expanses means it is stretches stretches of land continuous stretches of land there are seven continents on the earth in decreasing order of size they are decreasing order of size that is asia africa north america south america antarctica europe and australia these continents are further divided into countries states cities etc okay do this land covers only one part of the earth surface is spread across the whole earth that is what's mean ma this land covers only one part of the earth surface that is say only one part is the land part remaining three out of four three part is the water surface 
okay this land part is spread across the whole earth the largest areas of land are called continents there are seven continents that is already we learned it they are asia africa europe north america south america australia and antarctica india is the southern part of the continent of asia asia is the biggest continent india lies at the southern part of the asia okay ma okay fine can you understand clearly okay next please study that an ocean ocean means that is also we learned it in the last class i recall an ocean is very vast body of salt water that covers almost 3/4 of the country surface there are five oceans on the earth okay that is pacific ocean arctic ocean atlantic ocean southern ocean and indian ocean oceans means the very large and deep areas of water are called oceans what is oceans ma that is also you know very well you learned it last classes i say the very large and deep area of water are called oceans okay say ma what is ocean the very large and deep areas of water are called oceans the five oceans are do you know serpic pacific ocean arctic ocean atlantic ocean southern ocean and indian ocean okay then what is the difference between seas and oceans oceans means very large area of and also deep areas very large and deep areas of water are called oceans at the same time seas means the smaller areas of water are called seas that is area is smaller okay some important seas are mediterranean sea arabian sea black sea and south china sea okay everything we study in the last classes okay then what is waves waves means what ma the wind pushes from water in the oceans and seas make it move this movement makes waves okay the wind pushes the water in the oceans and seas so so only this what is moving making it to move this movement makes waves can you understand what is waves in water how these waves are formed in water that is the wind pushes the water in the ocean and seas making it moves this movement makes waves in the water which will look means is like a line of moving water During a storm, when the wind blows strongly, the waves can be high and powerful. During a storm, what happen? When the wind blows strongly, the waves can be high and powerful. So dangerous. This is dangerous for boats and for people who may be in the water. Can you understand, Ma? Can you understand? okay fine then you can see that so now you i recall what is waves then continents oceans and seas these are the major geographical forms and also we study that mountains hills and valleys okay what is mountains mountains means can you see the mountains yes that is what is mountains the highest portion of land are called mountains okay the mountains are the land part only it is not a water part can you 
understand ma okay so mountains means the highest portion of land are called mountains they are formed due to the movements of movements inside the earth that sometimes change the surface of the earth how it is formed the mountains that is movement of inside the earth that sometimes change the surface of the earth this is due to so pressure and so hot so this change is occurs okay yes the tip of mountain is called peak at the top tip means at the top of the mountain is called peak sometimes or often this mountains are joined together in a chain this is called a mountain range what is mountain range mountains are joined together in chain this is called mountain range okay this himalayas are the world's highest mountain range isn't it the himalayas mountains is the world highest mountain range it spread over the northern part of india where it lies himalayas it lies in the northern part of india and across other countries high areas of land which are not as tall as mountains are known as hills so here also difference between mountains and hills mountains means it is the highest portion of the land highest that is a superlative isn't it it is the highest portions of land are called mountains at the same time what is hills hills also high areas of land but which are not as tall as mountains can you understand ma these hills means h i l l s hills these hills also high areas of the land only but it's are not as tall as mountains or known as hills okay a chain of hills is called a range of hills okay the chain of mountains mountain mountains range isn't it like that here also the chain of hills is called range of hills the chain of mountain is called mountain range okay okay ma okay fine any doubt for you this is last day portion only i recall it okay so now listen here the low land lying between two hills or two mountains is called a valley now we study that valley v a l l e y what's the spell mark v a l l e y valley what is valley yes that is the low land lying between two hills or two mountains in between two in between the two part of the mountains or two hills that is called valley often streams or rivers flows through valleys such a valley is called river valley if river is flows in between two mountains or in between the two hills if river flow means that is the river valley the very highest part of mountains that are always snow covered yes because why it is very highest near the north pole isn't it it is very highest so snow covered have no life if snow covered so cool means there is no life but plants and animals people can live on the hills and in the valleys it is so cool okay but plants animals and people can live on the hills valleys hills valleys valleys means in between the land part between the two hills or two mountains okay it is valley means low land lying between two hills low land it is not a very high 
value means it is not a high areas of land it is not high areas of land understand it clearly it is a low land value means it is a low land lying between two hills between two hills or two mountains is called a valley okay okay ma can you understand clear it so this much yesterday's portion only i recall now we start to study today's portion that is rivers what is rivers can you see any river can you take bath in the river okay okay now listen here a large body of water that flows continuously from high land to low level is called a river river means that is a large body of water this water always flows from continuously flow this river water is always continuously flows from high land to low land is called a river small rivers that have less water are called streams here also rivers and stream both are water bodies river means large body of water that flows continuously from high land to lower land is called a river at the same time what is streams streams spelling spell that word s t r e a m s streams that is small rivers that go less water or called streams small rivers that go less water but river means a large body of water that it continuously very fast from higher level to lower level isn't it higher land to high land to lower land but stream means small rivers that go less water or called streams rivers and the streams contain a large part of the water found on land yes these rivers and streams contain a large part of water found on land okay okay ma now we study that plateaus and plains what is plateaus plateaus and plains these are the geographical forms what are the geographical forms major geographical forms we study that first continents second oceans and seas okay correct third one mountains hills and valleys mountains means you know then hills means what about and valleys also we study clearly now we study that rivers and now we start to study plateaus and plains what is plateaus ma these are the geo major geographical forms only that is a large stretch of high land that is flat on top is called a plateau it is also often called a table land because it is high and flat like a table okay what is plateaus what is plateau sema that is a large very extent of high land that is flat on top it is also large stretch of high land that is flat on top at the but high land but at the top is very flat is called a plateau it is also often called table land because why it is called table land why flat is called table land because it is high it's got height this land how flat is got height high land and flat like a table table at the top table it means it is also high and top it is a flat like for our using isn't it like that here also flat is so it means you think that table high land at the top of the land it is flat like a table so flat is always called table land 
can you understand ma can you understand clearly so what is plateau plateau is spell that word plateau p l a t e a u yes what is plateau plateau means a large stretch of highland that is flat top top isn't it it is a highland but at the top it is very flat so it is often called often called table land okay so flat is always called table land okay ma okay now it's here at the same time a stretch of low this flat is a, a stretch of high land at the top flat like but plains means what a stretch of low not it is not so high but flat land almost flat land so low it is not so high lower land only it is almost very flat that is called plain plain means also land part only plateau also land part mountains also hills everything land part can you understand clearly valley so this earth only 3/4 of the earth is covered with the water and remaining one part is the land part that is we study that major geographical forms can you understand ma so first of all we study that what geographical forms continents second oceans and seas we find it the difference between ocean and seas then mountains hills and valleys then rivers then now we study that plateaus and plains what is plateaus can you understand okay what is pla plain okay okay again i tell tell you now plateau means a large stretch of highland that is flat on top is called plateau it is also often called table land because it is high and top it is very flat but at the same time plains means a stretch is stretch of low the extent of land part is not so high it is low level only but it is also very flat land isn't it almost the land is very flat so it is also called plains p l a i n how these plains are formed do you know ma yes see here listen carefully <coughs> <coughs> plains are formed <coughs> when rivers bring down mud and soil from the mountains how plains are formed ma plains are formed when the rivers bring down mud and soil from the mountains some of the rivers flows from the mountains flows from mountain to this land part isn't it at this at the time these rivers bring down mud and soil from mountains okay whenever there is flood in river the soil that is carries spread out on land okay over many many hundreds of years this forms a plain how plain is formed can you understand yes i repeat repeating okay now listen carefully plains are formed when rivers bring down and mud and soil from the mountains this rivers bring down mud and soil from the mountains so over many many hundreds of years this forms a not a day many many hundred of years the rivers flows at that time it bring down mud and soil so hundred hundreds of years what happened here this plain forms a forms okay there is large plain in north india the great northern plain mostly large plain in north india only that is very very important one the great northern plain can you understand ma 
Now we study that difference between plates and planes. That is also do you know how these planes are formed? Can you understand? Yes. Now listen here. Low flat land along the coast is called coastal plains. Coast already we learned it, isn't it? What is a coast map? That is the areas where the land meets the sea are called coast. That is very nice, isn't it? Can you see that map? What is that? The areas where the land, this land part meet the sea. That is called beach. Marina beach. Can you see that beach? Okay. Now listen here. Coastal plain means the areas, the land part, the land part meet the sea. Can you see the beach? See? Okay, ma. Where the coast is plot, it is called a beach. This coastal area, the land part and the sea is also. This land part touch the sea part. That is the land meet the sea. That part is called coast. The coast is so flat means it is so flat means it is we called the beach. Can you understand? Okay. Okay, ma. Now listen here. This low plot land along the coast is called a coastal plants. Coastal plants are generally sandy. Yes. Can you see that? This beach also is always sandy. That land beach, that uh, land pot is coastal plants. It is mostly sandy. Sandy means sand. India has two long stretches of plains along the east and west coast. India has two coasts that is east and west coast. The soil on plains is very good for plants. Okay. The soil on plains because mostly the plains are formed. How it is formed? Bring down of mud and sand. Rivers bring down. When the rivers flows at that time, it brings down mud and sand. So, it is very fertile. So, plants grow very well in the plants. Can you understand more? People can grow crops and live in such places. That is plains. That is a land part only. How it is formed with? No. Okay. Then next we study that deserts. Deserts also geographical forms only major geographical forms what is a desert yes you know very well desert is dry land which receives little or no rainfall year after year okay there are what is desert desert means it is a dry land there is no doubt it is a dry land for why it is dry land because it receives no rainfall year after year or little rainfall sometime. So it is a very dry land. Mainly we have two main kinds of desert. That hot deserts and cold desert. Okay. Okay ma. Next class we will continue to teach that. Now we one time recall that today's portion. Okay, today we study the major geographical forms. I recall that coordinates, oceans and seas. And we study that how waves are formed. And then next geographical, major geographical forms that is mountains, hills and valleys. Then we study that rivers. Then plateaus and plains today we study. Then desert. Desert means you know that hot deserts, two types of desert is also how that is hot deserts or sandy, windy, hot and very dry. Okay. The largest desert is say anyone desert that is largest desert that is say Sahara desert. Where it lies means it is lies in North Africa. It is hot and sandy desert. Okay, ma. 
okay fine study well first lesson you completed to study that question answer the following questions and the book exercise study well okay every day little little take in study okay ma so next class i will continue this lesson okay fine fine ma okay